Yes, people, finally, finally, Chelsea 3, Luton 0. Like the video, man, for Nicholas Jackson. Like the video for Raheem Sterling. Like the video for Mauricio Pochino's first Chelsea win as manager in the Premier League. We finally got our win after three games. It was expected. Some of you guys were nervous. We're going to get into everything. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification. Tune in every single day. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Go and check out my tweets for the reviews, everything, key points, halftime reviews during the game, and also the Chelsea giveaway for Moises Casado on my pinned tweet. Make sure you guys turn on the notifications on there as well. Do not miss out. But yeah, guys, Raheem Sterling's first goal, absolutely brilliant. It reminds me of Eden Hazard. I'm not saying he's Eden Hazard like people are thinking that I'm saying. I'm saying the goal that he scored. The one that Hazard scored against Liverpool on the right side in the cup as well. Stone had more players around him and he slapped it in with his left foot as well, which was absolute brilliant scenes. And yes, a lot of people say it's only Luton. I get that. I agree with that. But we have to start from somewhere. A bit of confidence boost taking this win in our strides for sure. This is so, so important that we got a win in today. If we did not get a win in today, a lot of people would have been frustrated. Some people have already been calling that potch, which is absolute craziness. Especially that we've done well against Liverpool. We were okay against West Ham in the first half, and then we, we let ourselves down. But this third game was so important to win, and we finally got the win. And now, obviously, big statements about Nicholas Jackson could be our next DJ drug bar. Yes, it's been isolated a couple games, made a few chances here and there. Hold up play has been really, really good. But I'm very proud to announce that he has his first Premier League goal as a Chelsea player, three games. I did captain him in FPL. Hopefully, it's not a mistake. Hopefully, Haaland doesn't score a goal. Then everyone fails because you know everyone has Haaland in their team. So if he doesn't score, it's all good because I've got Jackson as captain, which would be nice. We won 3 0. Maybe he gets a few more extra points with a clean sheet as well, which is good to see. Some people did have Sterling, which I, I did see in some people's teams. So they are loving it right now because Sterling's got two goals. Could have had more goals as well, by the way. Um, and the Fernandez as well for, for Nicholas Jackson's goal was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, um, Sterling's cross was even better. I just realised he gets an assist for that as well. Um, I also did predict 3-0 today. Score predictions for Chelsea against Luton tonight. I'm going for a 3-0 win. Nicholas Jackson, Brace and Raheem Sterling. It's the other way around. It was Raheem Sterling, the Brace and Nicholas Jackson, the goal, man. But I was this close to being absolutely perfect. But regardless, first half, Spokeboy Enner has us type of goal for Raheem Sterling. We were dominating position around 85% to 15% of Luton, but we weren't putting away our chances. I thought Conor Gallagher looked decent in the first half, and I know that's going to surprise a lot of people because they know that I see him as a squad depth player. I don't think he's he should be starting for Chelsea Football Club, but he was very good as well. Leo Kowalzo with his passes, absolute brilliant. And then the, the first half kind of faded away in the last five, ten minutes, in my opinion, before half time. But we come out in the second half very strongly, all attacking. It was energy, it was you know, intensity was there, everything was absolutely there. Sterling got the goal, Nicholas Jackson got the goal, and it was just good to see. Uh, meanwhile, Kepa had this debut at Madrid and he conceded. I don't know if Madrid are winning now, maybe they are, but it was like three or four minutes in, and then bang. Raheem Sterling's world class, do you agree? Yes or no? Obviously. We've seen why he can be world class in his years at Man City, uh, especially in the year I think 2019, 2020. If we get anywhere near that type of, even if we get about 50% of that form, it will be a massive boost to Chelsea Football Club for a player that has had a shocking pre season for Chelsea Football Club. He has been one of our best players this campaign in the Premier League, might have been our actual best player. Two and a half games, in my opinion, where I think he's done really, really well. Because in the first half for Liverpool, everyone was poor. He was poor, everyone was poor. But he come alive towards the end against Liverpool. I think West Ham had a good game as well. For his standards that we should be expecting, he's hitting that now. He, he is getting the goals. And I always say, you get these goals against the lower league teams. You know, Luton, whoever, Forest, whatever you guys want to think. Forest next, of course, um, after Wimbledon. Or is it Villa? I'm sure it's Forest. You get these goals in and it just gives you a boost. But I don't know what it is. You know, even Nicholas Jackson's goal, his celebration, DJ Drogba, knee slide. You just see little things here and there combining, connecting together. And it makes total, total sense for sure, man. Uh, we also saw uh, John Terry 
Todd Bowley, Reese James in the stand with Lavia behind them as well. Um, I think Paul Winston Lee was in front of John Terry for my memory. If I'm correct. Sterling, the first half as well, he he strike a shot so nicely straight at the goalie, and the goalie actually caught it. And I do not know how he caught that because I'm telling you, if I was Kepa, he would have parried in, he would have put it in front of him or something. Okay, something would have happened for sure if that was Kepa. Straight away, people are saying that it wasn't even a, even a bullet. We're watching it from TV. Yeah, I know in real life, you've seen that in real life. That's a bullet, man. I'm telling you that for sure. Now, other than that, Luton didn't really threaten Chelsea. There isn't really too much to say or look into too much. Casado, yeah, he fell on the floor once, but he he looked he looked decent. There was nothing. There wasn't anything amazing. There wasn't anything bad, in my opinion, for. Uh, Moise well, said it was a it was a basically a good starting debut for the player for his confidence boost. You have to remember as always well, preseason hasn't been there. He wasn't playing for Brighton as all. Well. He needs time to get back into scratch and into you know pattern. And hopefully uh he will be a very, very important player for Chelsea Football Club. So uh yeah, I mean I can't play this video of his goal because I'll get suspended. But full time people, Chelsea free, Luton nil, Raheem Sterling just needs to keep up now. People including myself, were asking, why didn't Mudrick start? And we saw when Mudrick was playing against West Ham, it was just absolute shocking. Absolute shocking. It's like, you've got all that speed, but no IQ. But it's early days, people. I still believe he'll come good. But Raheem Sterling is showing us why he should be starting for Chelsea Football Club right now. But overall, I'm just happy Nicholas Jackson got his first Premier League goal. That was the most important thing for me. Yes, of course, I got in my FPL, but for himself, I don't want people to get on his back. I don't want people to slay him. I've seen a lot from him, even in isolated positions where he's able to hold up the plate, turn, left foot, right foot. Yes, it hasn't gone in, but those goals will come. Not clinical as Harlan and that, I get that, but he will get his moments this season for sure. I don't think he'll get a second striker. I think Broho will be coming back and then he'll be competing and it'll take Broho some time to get back up to scratch as well. So, it's going to be a very, very long season for sure, even though we're playing one game a week. But yeah, guys, check me out on Twitter. Uh, one White Chelsea, of course. Go follow up. Turn the bell notifications. Uh, we've got some changes on the channel very soon as well, which I'll be describing. That's why I've not done any content in the last seven days, uh, like Craig David. But like I said, we'll be back soon. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification. Enjoy your weekend. Friday night football, people. We're done. We're out here. and go relax for the weekend. And watch other games hopefully other teams start losing some easy fixtures for for some teams for sure but yeah guys until then or watch us guys i'm out peace run up the lights man three nil chelsea are back we're coming for you man see <laughs> imagine